Hello. Today, uh, I have a good news for you uh, that Illicit AI, a very good literature review tool, has now, you know, given us so many options without any credit. Previously, it was a paid uh, software due to which, you know, many people could not use it. But now it has uh, given a lot of features with it uh, without credit. So I will just quickly show you how you can use Illicit AI to really uh, enhance your literature review and your research work. So first you have to go to Google and just this open this link from here. Uh, once you open here, you have to sign up or sign in with your Google account or Apple or your email. And once you do that, you will land here to this interface of this illicit AI. Now what illicit can do for you. Now illicit, there are a few functions that are really helpful. First, just when you click on this illicit button this is the home page where actually you can find paper directly either through keywords or putting a doi of a paper and a title of a paper or you can even here's another option list of concepts you you can list certain concepts and illicit will find papers for you just one thing i will quickly show you how that you can use this so say for example i'm searching for a paper for actually the cirrhosis and deep vein thrombosis and mortality and see let's run the search this is like you are searching on a pubmed on google scholar or semantic scholar so see as you search for certain keywords this illicit give you this summary of the top four papers or you can with an upgraded plan you can take a summary of the eight top papers but for free it will give you and that's enough that's enough to know the uh, insights from a certain theme so as you can see this is enough summary on this topics with all the four citations are here you can actually copy this and paste it somewhere you can go to any of these sources from here now now this is where there is a really good uh, first you have options here like the different filters you can search across either relevant or the recent other the most cited are with alphabet there are certain filters that like if you are looking for a pdf or not uh, you can look across the any year say for example it's from any year to 2024 you can actually look for lost 10 years actually and you have this general quality okay i only want to see this from q1 q2 or anything just like i'm not putting any of this so just to show you that you have a lot of uh, filter options here i'm not touching any of those currently you can apply it and not only this you have got actually this uh, type of study actually rct longitudinal and abstracts you can search across like google scholar you can exactly put a certain keyword that okay look for the, across the abstract with that particular word and even another more option is you can use the option of a boolean operator not without applying it here just you can put some keyword like uh, anything that this okay look for the abstract that should not contain a certain word or keyword so this is how you can apply these filters i'm not applying any of those once you do this now i have actually two papers here or these are the two papers with their year of publication, the main author, the journal name, GUI, and citations. Now here actually the abstract summary of both two papers. Now what you can do is a free version. You can add. You have two columns given. You can add two more columns from here. Any of your columns, any of the information that you wish to see. Even there are more options uh, with a paid version. There are different kinds of information that you can actually extract from these uh, papers. See, there are too many options, a lot of things that can abstract data for papers, like for anything, for variables, for mere men, for region, duration, study count, feature research, hypothesis tested, and what kind of algorithm they use, what software they use, what are population characteristics. This is so much study objective design, this is really overwhelming. But with free, you can only have option of four uh, columns. So I have two, one related to paper information, other is abstract summary. Say for example, I'm adding one more column of main findings and another column of actually the uh, limitations. Say for example, I'm searching for research uh, caps. So once you add that, now you have got this one column, this abstract summary, second column. And now you have got a third column of main findings. This is that of each paper. This is the column of third finding that you can actually edit, filter, save as a pretest, and anything you wish to do. And this is the limitations column for both the papers. So one thing that the free does not have that you cannot actually export it for the free version. Are you okay? You can copy paste it somewhere and you can locate it. But for exporting it you need to be a paid version 
again you can expand to see the view the whole tables so this is the one way to uh, search the papers across this elicit now one more option is this look at this option of here add a new step you can click on it once you click in you can add papers here you can uh, you know uh, with this step actually by uploading paper you can question you can ask question related to the paper you can extract data from the uploaded papers uh, you can create new tables shared with papers a lot of options say for example i am going to upload papers so i've selected these two papers open these papers so here are the two papers that i just uploaded you can upload more so say for example, i selected this paper i selected both these papers and i will click here on this forward arrow and again it will land with you the same type of tables you can actually add main findings table and a table of actually summaries and you can view across these now there is an option of library in this library you see there are two papers uh, just i just uploaded what you can do is you can uh, select both these papers and either you can apply this uh, that uh, sort them according to title as per the date or you can apply certain filters say for example you want to give a certain text say want to i want to give those both these papers a certain tag say for example giving a tag of abc a abc tag is created and see both these papers now have a tag certain abc say for example uh, i am looking 10 to 15 articles for my introduction writing so uh, the articles that i collect for introduction writing i can save all those with a tag of introduction then similarly i can i can searching the articles for my uh, discussion section i can tag all those articles with putting a tag of discussion so when i'm actually writing my paper my paper and the library will be actually very much organized so this is a function of uh, this library one thing that i always love about the ai tools that most tools they are integrated with yes zotero so here is actually you can import your zotero library papers from zotero to this ai tool to play around with these papers so just click on here you will actually have to connect your zotero library with research uh, is elicit ai is a very simple option it will just offer you a login information for uh, zotero i actually did this before uh, so say for example i wish to uh, upload whole this uh, collection of zotero into my elicit just click import and it will import whole that collection whatever number of paper it contains 5 10 20 so see this that collection from Zotero had actually the, had 13 papers. So all these papers are here in Zotero. And you can actually save any of these papers with, with any tag you wish for letter use or you can filter them. So this is a, how you can use the LSA. It's a very free to use. It has uh, not so many options, but limited, very good options. Uh, you won't confuse with that. And you can really, you know, enhance your research productivity and really organize your papers and stay connected with your uh, reference manager like Zotero. I hope that this video will be helpful for you.